Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to our channel Code is Arcade and in today's video we will be discussing about the topic manual testing and its introduction. Before we start, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. Coming to the definition of manual testing. What exactly is manual testing? Manual testing is nothing but the testing that we perform on a software wherein we take the help of a human. Okay, a computer is not required here for testing. A human is involved in testing here. Okay, so that is why it is called as manual testing. Okay, and here what we do, we test the application repeatedly again and again in order to catch defect. Okay, now you might say, what is a defect? So defect here for now, I would tell you is that, let me give you an example, okay? You go to a tailor, it's your friend's wedding, you have gone to a tailor, you want some really nice dress, you want some lehenga, okay? You want it to be really nice, you want, you have a specific requirement for the shape of the neck, the sleeve design, okay? You have all these requirements with you and so you have pictured it in your head that this is how you're going to look like. Okay, and you go to the tailor, you give him the requirement. Now, tomorrow is your friend's marriage. So, today you're, he's somehow just told that he will give you one day before the wedding. You go to the tailor, you see that the lehenga, okay, the lehenga is there, but the neck that might be totally different. Okay, so what you pictured in your head is totally different than what you're seeing. Okay. Either the neck or let's say the sleeves, somewhere he is not made it according to your requirement. Now it was important for you, right? It's your friend's wedding, everybody wants to look good in wedding. huh? So now if he's made that changes, would you like it? You picture yourself to look like somebody, some, somebody else. Like maybe you try to copy it from Alia Bhatt's marriage, you wanted to look like Alia Bhatt. But now he's given you a different lehenga, you're not happy with it at all. So you will not be happy. Of course, right? So, testing also we do just to check whether the requirement that is coming from the customer is that according to the requirement or not. If it is not according to the requirement, we consider that as a defect. Okay? Just like how you found defects in that tailor's making with, re with respect to your, um, your requirement and what he has made, just like that, you know, we catch defects as a tester, we catch defects according to what the developer has developed. Is it according to the requirement that has come from the customer or not? If it is not according to the requirement, then that we consider it to be as a defect. So now I hope you are clear with the definition. Let me just write the definition for you. So the definition is testing the software repeatedly manually in order to find defects in the software developed is called manual testing now why have i highlighted manually is because see you are telling the definition of manual testing right so that's why you have to use the word manually to emphasize that the testing is carried on manually not by using any automation tools right that's why i have highlighted the word manually so now that we know the definition of manual testing Let's head to what are the advantages and disadvantages of having manual testing. Now let's discuss the disadvantages of manual testing. First thing, time taken is more. Why? Is because now, again, a human is involved. So if a human is involved, we will not work according to how our computers work, right? Computers work tirelessly. They don't need any um, rest. You give them power and they will work. That's it. For you, for you to work, you need time, some break. You'll take a break. Now you're, you're working. A WhatsApp message popped up. You want to reply to that. You want to go out with your friends for a while. So like this time taken overall will be more. And moreover, apart from that, okay, apart from that also, while you are doing manual testing, you have to, like we, our speed will not match according to the computer, right? We have to see everything properly. You have to check how the functionality of the software is. All these th things will take time. So overall, we, when I compare myself with a computer, I will obviously take more time. So overall, manual testing again is a process that will take time. Second thing, of course, you will need a separate team. That's why you will need manpower for you to have manual testing. You need manpower. And then, 
it is a monotonous job monotonous means guys see monotonous is something like you keep repeating the same thing again and again okay so manual testing is like that you have to keep repeating the same testing over and over again that's monotonous okay so these are a few disadvantages that i can tell you of manual testing okay now see there are advantages also right the quality will be excellent go back to the example i gave you of the tailor do you think second time for your brother's marriage or something you'll go to that same tailor again you'll be like hey i don't want to waste my money why would i want to go to that old man i don't want to go there anymore he ruined my dress similarly you ruin the application of the customer he won't keep quiet he'll go put the word around there saying that this particular company did this to my software i told them to develop this they developed something else so it's a bad reputation for the company as well right it's not good for a company to have a bad reputation if you have a bad reputation no projects will come to you you should sit there only until you go bankrupt right so quality should be good there will never be compromise with the quality of the software so when a human is involved you will understand everything there is no confusion in understanding the software's functionality even you put yourself in comparison with a computer computer might work fast but the results developed uh, sorry the results that we get from the computer to that of a human is always higher okay your humans are way more better in, in in all these terms than a computer right and the second one the reason why all of you are here watching this video is that programming knowledge is not required for manual testing there are so many people joining manual testing why because programming knowledge is not required here and it is also a good thing for um, cs students if they want to start off okay as in in testing field they might not be good with the coding part but they still want to be in technical field you can start off as manual tester and then slowly eventually you can get into automation but for automation testing i'm making it very clear you will need coding knowledge for manual testing it's not required but for automation it is required let me give you a brief introduction on how actually the testing flows in manual testing let's say we get the requirement right once we get the requirement i'm going to draw a horrible drawing here please bear with it so let's say you you got a, the requirement in your company okay so once the requirement has come to your company company and after doing a little bit of um, research you have like come to the conclusion that you as a company are fit to take the project so you guys are developing the project okay the project goes into the development once it goes into the development field then after it being developed okay that software will come to us that is the testing team it will come to the testing team for testing so everything will go manually okay so you guys will turn on your computer manually you will open the browser manually whatever the url has come from the testing team you are going to enter that manually and you are going to test the software manually i'm emphasizing manually because you should not forget while you are telling the definition in the interview if they ask you what is manual testing you need to emphasize that you are doing it manually that's why don't just say testing the software repeatedly testing can be both the time, both the ways it can be manually it can be automation so make sure you are clear with that that manual is different and automation is different let's say you are testing for a page like login page okay you have put all your credentials you have put your username you have put your password there is a login button you are clicking on login button but it is not taking you to the next page if it is not taking you to the next page then it is a defect right usually when you log into your facebook where is it supposed to take you to your facebook home page it is not taking you to the home page it's giving you a blank page then that is a defect so whenever i get a defect okay whenever the testing team gets a defect we communicate it to the development team now how we communicate it again there is a process which will be covered in the next upcoming videos okay don't worry about all that here for now some short story i'm telling you 
get the requirement do the development get the after the development the software goes into the testing team testing team performs testing they find a defect communicated to the developer or the development team so the development team after they fix the defect they will again send it to you for checking whether that defect is fixed or not so until the development uh, until the software is defect free until that defect is fixed we can never give that software to the customer okay this is a little bit of overview of manual testing and how the workflow goes in the next coming videos you will understand how the process goes in detail okay don't worry about it and please follow up the next videos to get more clarity on what is manual testing thank you guys